हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज डॉक्टर भरत चंद्रा द मार्केट्स हैव क्रैश्ड ह्यूज नंबर ऑफ पॉइंट्स पीपल आर रियली वरिड जस्ट टू डिस्पेल योर डाउट्स योर क्यूरियासिटी एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा टुडे वी आर मेकिंग दिस वीडियो फॉर एवरीबॉडीज बेनिफिट प्लीज सी टू द एंड फेब्रुवरी ट्वेंटी फोर्थ निफ्टी क्लोज Two hundred and seventy-four points up. Sensex thousand thirty points up. February twenty-five, Nifty closed hundred and fifteen points higher. Sensex plus two hundred and fifty-eight points higher. And all people thought very good. Now markets are on a rally, positive rally. Let me start investing. As they started investing, February twenty-six, there was a catastrophe. Nifty minus. 568 points and sensex minus 1939 points many of you may be flabbergasted many of you may be feeling very sad that the nifty rally which started closed so early personally i have seen this kind of behavior from the market for a long time for somebody who is investing for the first time in market or the first cycle in the market they may be wondering whether it is worth investing in stocks on a short term basis but let me tell you one thing if you do not have the risk appetite don't invest for short term long term is meant for you however long term investors this is a good news because the markets have crashed all the wonderful stocks blue chips are available at a discount once again probably in the month of february and march All time high level Nifty fifteen thousand four thirty one, Sensex all time high fifty two thousand five hundred and sixteen, current level fourteen thousand five hundred and twenty nine Nifty Sensex forty nine thousand ninety nine, percentage fall from the high five point eight four percent in Nifty six point five one percent in Sensex, percentage fall on twenty six February alone is three point seven six in Nifty three point nine one in Sensex. you may be curious what are the reasons for the fall of nifty and markets today there are four main reasons first weak global queues february 25th us markets down by 3.5% japanese markets on 26th february early in the morning 4% down hong kong 3.6% down european markets in the afternoon on 26th down by 0.5% The second reason rising US bond yields returns from US bonds is around 1.45% currently and hence foreign investors are selling and booking profits in stocks all over the world and investing in bonds to preserve the profits for the last so many months the foreign investors were continuously investing into the indian markets though the domestic institutional investors were selling and at that time we were very clearly telling the day the foreign investors sell there will be mayhem in indian markets third reason raising international oil prices oil prices have been raising in the last few months and is up around by 20% in the last one month itself high oil prices is not beneficial for individuals nor business since it increases the cost This is the graph of the crude oil for the short period from March to this year and see how it has been continuously going up. The fourth reason is US air strikes on Syria targeting Iranian militants. USA launched air strikes in Syria on Thursday targeting facilities used by Iranian backed militants. This was done as a revenge for rocket attack in Iraq earlier this month that killed one US civilian contractor and wounded a US service member and other coalition troops. Friends, this rally is over since Nifty 30 daily moving average was around 14720. Currently, Nifty is around 14529. The previous rally had ended around february 22 and this rally started around february 23 itself almost no time gap for market consolidation usually when the consolidation is for a very short period 
but in two rallies, the next rally may not last very long. Previous rally by indication 14,119, sell indication 14,685 and the rally was 566 points though the highest was around 15,400 but the sell indication came only at 14,685. In the previous rallies, usually when consolidation happened for a few weeks, the rally was stronger and longer and provided good profits in short term. If you look at the graph, you will understand it better. Now this previous rally which I mentioned started in October, November and lasted for a long time. And this current rally started soon after without much gap after the big rally and then there was no consolidation. That's why it ended abruptly. The next rally started immediately. It immediately fizzled out because there was hardly any consolidation time. I am hoping and all Dr. Bharat Chandra graduates are hoping that the Nifty will come down further and then there will be a very good consolidation for weeks and then once a nice rally starts, we will have a profitable and positive outcome. This particular video, we deliberately brought it out in order to make sure investors are not getting anxious. You know, for long term investors, years together we invest, there is no fear at all. Short term investors, in case you have purchased fundamentally strong shares, either you have kept 5% stop loss or even if you hold those stock for some time, they are bound to come up later. So either way, there is nothing to fear. If you are not the member of Dr. Bharat Chandra channel, this is the time to press the subscribe button, bell icon. Video is good, please press like button. In case you feel this video is good, in the comment box, please type useful so that we feel happy that you got some benefit from this video. Send this video to large number of your friends so that they too will reduce their anxiety of the market going down. Thank you for watching the whole video. Bye bye. All the best.